So I think what I want to say to you today could be summed up in terms of the need to reimagine our mission in our cultural context. And that's what the diocesan mission strategy needs to have as its widest horizon. And the three Ps are therefore designed not to provide a strategy for, um, not to provide a strategy in themselves, but actually to help us reimagine and if you engage with those, there will be an engagement with wider culture. So that the three Ps will draw you into, first of all, the prophetic dimension of a new world order. When we say Jesus, our first word in response should probably be kingdom. Because that's what Jesus talked about. If you met Jesus, he would talk about the kingdom. If you push Jesus to say, what's the one thing that defines you, Lord? Rabbi, he'd say, kingdom. Jesus has a new world order right at the heart of what he's about. This is epic. To engage with the prophetic global citizenship of living in Jesus' kingdom is to reimagine what it means to follow him in today's culture. It also means to understand what it might in, in, imply in following Jesus with other people. Jesus, you see, pioneered a whole new humanity. When he invited people to follow him, he invited people who would not normally get together. He invited a whole new nation to come and discover who they were by realising who they were together in their differences. And as we heard earlier on, it's the differences that make the world go round. Uniting difference is the most exciting thing that happens for us as created beings. Being part of something that's diverse and yet one is what gives us energy and life. And so this... this this wonderful discovery of us being united in one body through the cross, all peoples from all places, is actually the expression of the new humanity. And so a way of life, pioneering. Pioneering by following our pioneer. Pioneering faith communities, exploring what it means to be mission-shaped in our culture. And then thirdly, to discover that to be a follower of Jesus means to be passionate, to be cross-shaped, to be like him in his death, that we might be like him in his resurrection. So even if we have great fun today doing all the imagining around the three Ps, we know we're on a journey to making some choices together. And strategy is fundamentally about choices. We will have to choose together what we're going to do. And that will mean we will need to do one thing and not another. Shall I repeat that? We will have to do one thing and not another. How are we going to do all this? Well, this is my final point. We are going to consult. We're going to consult each other. We're going to consult those with whom we live and work and we're going to try and work out what the five priorities are.